I had to run last night, had to get to sleep in bed. Um, but I guess kind of afterthoughts on the training session itself went well. I had in my head I wanted to get up to 485, 495. Because uh, about a week ago I hit 475, felt really, really good. Uh, and it is my heavier squat they do. Look at my face. The cold mornings and like being outside more. I never, not that it's like a skin issue, but like uh, my skin is drying out. You get little flaky poos on your eyebrows. You guys moisturize your face? I never really had to do that. But I feel like I need to do that now. Um, so Thursday's heavier squat day, medium bench day, uh, and hard body building. So um, again, I want to get up to that weight. For everyone, I think when you're touching heavier weights, um, one, I always recommend handling singles or heavy singles is a fine idea, but you got to find that line about um, maxing out or going heavy or grinding. Um, as not only mentally, but physically, the recovery is a little bit different if you're a high, higher frequency lifter or even a lower frequency lifter. Um, you know, you grind, you, you, you think you're a 600 pound squatter and you grind for 545. One, your body's gonna feel a little bit worse. Two, mentally you're like, man, maybe I'm not a 600 pound squatter and next week you're supposed to do 535 for a double and now you get all up in your head about it. I would always kind of like my singles to be difficult um, and my athletes, uh, but so you can work on the, 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 the practice of what a single looks like, feels like, and uh, the specificity of a one rep max. And you get stronger, obviously, but um, without making your lift look 100% different than normal. There will be some deviation in technique. Uh, and two, without absolutely bashing your head through a wall every heavy day, because you should have heavy-ish days multiple times a week um, per, you know, in each lift. Um, not that you're deadlifting super heavy five times a week, but uh, you should be handling some kind of weight you know, in the 80s, 90s uh, at some point. Uh, and if you have to bash your head through a wall, turn on Screamo, uh, hit, hit nose torque and, and tell yourself your mom doesn't love you just to pull 90%, uh, we need to find a different method uh, that will allow you longevity physically, mentally, uh, and kind of save those you know, pump ups um, for, when, for when you really need it, when you're having a really bad day or you're touching something new and you kind of got to get that confidence in your mind. Um, long story short, uh, 495 moved really, really well despite a little tip forward. Um, and tipping forward in the squat, I think happens for multiple reasons. For me, on that one, I just rushed it. Uh, got a little excited about the weight. Uh, but something that often helps me, and people try to describe it in all these, you know, super anatomical, uh, and that and that anatom anatomical, anatomical. It's five in the morning, and I haven't had any caffeine yet. So, uh, you know, whether you're, you're kind of on that tripod deal, you got your big toe, your pinky toe, your heel, um, you're driving into your heels, there's all these cues about your feet. But for me, the biggest thing I like to do is I just give a tiny wiggle. After I set up, I walk out, I get a tiny wiggle and I find my center point. Um, literally for me, I can do, I'm doing it right now. I'm wiggling right now, you guys already know what I'm doing. Below my neck, you don't know what's going on. And so I'll just kind of wiggle into my, the balls of my feet, honestly. Um, Pushing through your heels is kind of a cue for a beginner, in my opinion. Uh, a lot of people just don't know how to squat with a flat foot. But after you've squatted for even a couple of weeks, you kind of know that you should have your heels into the ground. Um, and so feeling your heels probably just isn't the best cue. I say feel the ground for a lot of people is the external cue I use. Just meaning to feel your toes digging into the ground, to feel the balls of your feet, to feel your heels. But I kind of just get a little wiggle and I'll just lean forward just slightly so I find that balance in between my heels, the balls of my feet, and my toes. Uh, then from there, I'm just going straight down. I'm thinking about, uh, you know, if you have your femur, your thigh bone go into your knee and then your shin come down from your knee into your ankle. I think about that middle point just continuing into the ground and that I have a spike from my shin bone in through my foot into the ground and I try to press through that. So I find that balance, and last night I just rushed it a bit. You can see in the video my heels just come up just a hair, um, but still strong enough to power through. Got a little too much into my quads. And again, it depends per person. Some people get tipped forward, literally meaning that the bar placement rolls, 
Um, they don't have coordination of pushing with their hips, and, uh, pushing with their knees and extending with their hips, kind of le le leading with their upper body as they squat, uh, which will literally get you tipping forward. Um, if, if the barbell's not over your midfoot when you squat uh, and you lean too much forward or your torso uh, angle changes too much, then you will actually tip, tip forward. Um, and all those are not bigger issues, just different issues to solve, but a lot of it comes down to motor pattern, um, repetition, doing things the right way, uh, and focusing on kind of locking your knees and hips at the same time on the squat, especially if you're lower-ish body squatter, or you do have a little bit of torso lean. I don't have a ton, um, but obviously my hips are moving. I uh, moved on to bench, felt pretty good, no, no real thoughts there. 315 for two sets of three, which is volume, strength, everything PR, things are starting to come back um, pretty good. And then uh, I just catch a chest, shoulder, um, on the machines, we've got the hammer strength machine. So I'll just go one, a warm up two or three sets, get some weight moving, um, and then and then I go uh, one set kind of all out uh, and try to just up that weight weekly. And if I can't up that weight, uh, then I will just do two sets at that um, weight until pretty close to failure. I like the hammer strength stuff. I don't really have to worry about um, you know my back being tight from the squats uh, or or any technique itself. I can just push into it. So shoulder. Uh, Incline chest, a row and a lat pull down on that, and then finished off with just really heavy skull crushers and some uh, bicep curls finished off the day. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. What my full body workouts look like, big squat PR, coming back, uh, chasing down that 600 as we come here. I appreciate y'all. Son of Mike, catch you in the next video. Give this thing a thumbs up, I appreciate you.